Hey, Justin, I've got a fish fry plan, so I brought the large cooler. Awesome. <laughs> Let's go fill it with fish. Hey, hey, folks, I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors. We do an awful lot of catch and release fishing on Midwest Outdoors. Today, we're going to do a little bit of catch and keep. Midwest Outdoors Magazine turns 50 years old this year as a company, and we're gonna try and celebrate with a little fish fry, a company fish fry. So we're gonna try and fill up the Yeti with as much fish as we can, right, Justin? Sounds like a plan. Oh, wow. Is that a tanker? Look at the color of the fins on that guy. So it's November, it doesn't seem like it because it's 70 degrees out, but a lot of the weeds have died off now in most of the lakes. And we found one little area here that's got some standing coontail that's still green yet, and there's some jumbo perch holding in it, so we're gonna continue to catch big perch. Oh, Corner. there we go, Larry. There we go, there we go. Got well, got a little tug into them. Yeah, we're fishing these fish in a, in a variety of ways. We got slip bobbers out, as well as we're using chena bait. Gina bait is this little pocket of, of bait, but it comes in a little roll, and you roll it out, and it rolls out to about five inches long or so, and you can pretty much cut this bait however you want. You can use a little sliver of it, you can cut it in a wedge, and the nice thing about it is it's very durable. This bait actually expands in the water, so you can see how thin it was when we started off with and it expands on the water and it really stays on the hook really well. That's really special for kids and when you're fishing, you know, pan fish, whether you're ice fishing or open water fishing, it stays on the hook and you can catch a lot of fish with one piece of bait. You don't have to keep rebaiting all the time. There they go. Oh, it looks like it's got weight. Chunky guy. Some fish fry material. Couple more hours and we'll have our fish fry secured, huh? Yep, I'm wet, I'm ready. Right here. Nice job. Double. Ooh, that's a keeper. I got a keeper too. Yeah, perfect eater, about a nine incher. Yep. Nice. I'll bring him to the cooler. Got one. Should I get the net for that one, Larry? I don't know. It's oh. kind of flat. Tell you what, up there here. it is. That's yeah. you called it, buddy. <laughs> if you're playing on a fish fry, we don't want him to come out hooked. Right? That's right. <laughs> Beautiful. Isn't that cool. Way to call it. Yeah. <laughs> I caught them birds out of the corner of my eye. I thought it'd be worth a try. Sweet. Fun. And so, okay, tell us what we did here. We, we basically... Well, we went and had a burger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we came out from the restaurant. We saw about, I don't know, 1,500 seagulls dive bombing this corner of the lake over here. And I thought... Well, another one. I thought, well, maybe Whoa, there's some... is that thing going? <laughs> maybe there's some feeding fish over there. Yeah, sure I enough. So. <laughs> here, I one in each one. hand. <laughs> got it. It's on a light rod, too. And got them. Nice. Doubled up. Beauty. Sweet. Like There's one. That was just on a twitch, twitch pause. Twitch, twitch pause. Sweet. Nice shot. You want me to get the net? Yeah, this is a light rod. <laughs> Using a panfish rod for white bass. It doesn't. Oh, there's one with it, Larry. Look at that one trying to steal the bait. Oh, that's cool. So when these fish are fighting this hard, you know, the trick is just use your rod to fight them. You don't want to keep on spinning and spinning because. This light tackle will just spin up your line. And you'll get all kinds of memory in your line and you won't be able to make another cast. So use the rod. Don't want to spin drag and reel at the same time. That's key for these giant white bass with small tackle. Let me take your rod for you there. Fish <laughs> on. I'm double fist in here, Larry. Not a giant, but it's a fun one. There it is. Oh. There it is. There it is. Look at him go. There you go, Larry. <laughs> Thanks. I need help. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, look that at that. That is a jungle. Look at that. Got him. Yes. Sweet. Can't beat that. The big one and the little one. Yep. So this Rattlemaster that you borrowed me is ripping them now. 
I tipped it with a piece of chino bait, and boom, first cast. Isn't that cool? So the rattle master is a cast master with a built-in oh. built rattle chamber. Look at this thing go. We got another one on. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Another one over there, tripled up. Do you want to get that one? Jeez. <laughs> I got these. Dennis, can you get that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. We could use more help in the boat here. <laughs> Anybody want to come join us? And all because uh, I saw those birds dive bombing. I figured they were on a big school of shad. And I figured, you know, there's probably some fish pushing those shad up to the surface. And sure enough, we pulled in. The side scan lit up. We started casting, and we're catching fish one after another. So next time you see birds diving, go right to them. That's right. <laughs> as mentioned, this is a special year at Midwest Outdoors as it commemorates our 50th anniversary as a company. But before we finish frying up these fish for the company Fish Fry, I want to thank my good buddy Justin Cohn at All Seasons Adventures Guide Service. And you also might want to check out SouthwayBaitSales.com and check out Chena Bait. They're another reason why we were so successful today. I'm Larry Ladowski with Midwest Outdoors, and I think the staff is hungry. You guys ready to eat? Oh, yeah. yeah. Dig in, dig in. Yeah.